anymore. So our first prayer breaking the curse will be we'll start with uh, premature death. Premature death. When we talk about premature death, it's when people die before their time. When people die before their time, because a covenant has been made in such families, and so the devil is taking the lives of people. Uh, 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 people are not able to live to their full age. For some reason, mysteriously, people lose their lives, and the devil is able to claim the lives of people through car accidents, through hereditary diseases, through spells, through charm, through divination. Somehow, in this family, nobody is able to cross 60. Everybody who reaches 50s die. Um, somehow, a sickness will hit them and they'll die. They'll get an accident or die, or something mysterious will happen and they'll die. There is always, almost every five years or two years, somebody is dying in the family. You look into the family and you realize that there is a spirit of death which is you know, um, killing people in the family, which is depleting souls in that family. That curse is called the curse of death and hell. Somebody has made a covenant with that spirit and that spirit is taking the lives of people. But today, by the reason of the blood of Jesus Christ, no more will this, the curse of death and hell be in your family anymore. No more premature death, no more untimely death, no more will you die before your time and this is the promise of God you shall not die you shall live and declare the works of the Lord so you are going to stand in for yourself for your children for your family that any spirit of death that any any curse of death in this family that claims the lives of people in this family and causes people not to grow to their full potential and that cuts people's life short today you are standing in to break the curse break the yoke and release yourself release your family release your children and release your grandchildren from the curse of untimely death premature death dying before your time god wants you to live to fulfill his purpose before before you die don't allow the devil to use car accidents to use hereditary sicknesses terminal diseases uh, incurable sicknesses um, spells charm divination witchcraft to cut short your life many times these demons they do they, they cast spells on people and mysteriously these people die but today the curse is going to be broken and you are going to be free as we are praying if you know any family member who is going through a sickness and the sickness is seem to be taking their life today is the day you have to break the curse from their lives so that you will deliver them so that you they can have eternal and they can have uh, they can live to fulfill their death their purpose in life so the first curse we are going to break is on premature death as we are praying this if you know your specific case you can also be praying it even in jesus name so please say this after me and after that we will begin to pray say this after me in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ by the reason of the blood of jesus in the name of our lord jesus christ by the reason of the blood of jesus christ i take authority in jesus name I take authority in Jesus' name and I break every curse. I break every curse. You can put your specific curse there. If you know the curse that is working against you, you can put your, uh, your curse there. But right now, I am dealing with people who are going through premature death, untimely death, dying before their time. So I take authority right now in Jesus' name. I take authority right now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and I break and i break every curse of untimely death every curse of premature death every curse of dying before your time in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i break every covenant i break every covenant my family has with the demon of death and hell i break every covenant so you, if you have if you know your specific case which is working against you marital spell poverty or sickness you will say i break every covenant my family has with the demon of death and hell because of evil foundation i break every covenant my parents and ancestors made with the, the demons of death and hell today i break the covenant I break the covenant even in Jesus' name. I renounce, say this, I renounce and denounce. I renounce and denounce every covenant or any agreement I and my family have made with the demons of death and hell. I renounce it. I renounce the covenant. I re denounce the covenant. I break the covenant even in Jesus' name. I revoke. I revoke and reverse. I revoke. And I reverse every death curse, every death curse placed upon me and my family in the name of Jesus Christ. I revoke, I reverse 
every death curse, every death curse that has been placed upon me and my family in the name of Jesus Christ. By the reason of the covenant I have with the blood of Jesus, by the reason of that new covenant I have with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, I release myself, I release myself and my family from every case of untimely death. I release myself, I release my family, I release my children from every case of untimely death, premature death, dying before our times, even in Jesus' name. By the reason of the blood of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Ghost, I break, I break, I break the power of death and hell over my life. I break the power of death and hell over my life. I break the power of death and hell over my children's life. I break the power of death and hell over any member of my family's life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I shall not die. I shall not die. I shall not die. By the reason of the precious blood of Jesus Christ, I shall not die before my time. I shall not die before my time. I refuse to die before my time. I will not have premature death. I will not express untimely death. I shall not die. I shall not die. By the new covenant I have with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, I shall not die. I shall not die. Death and hell, death and hell cannot claim my life until I, I, I fulfill my purpose on earth. Death and and hell shall never claim my life, shall never claim the lives of my children, shall never claim the lives of my relatives. Death and hell have no more power over my life because of the new covenant I have with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I shall not die. I shall not die. I reject death. I shall not die. I reject death. I shall not die. I refuse to die in the name of Jesus. I shall not die before my time in the name of Jesus Christ. I will live. I will live and declare the wonderful works of God. I shall not die. I shall not die. I shall not die in the name of Jesus Christ. Now declare every demon, every demon, every principality that has been given the assignment to cause death and hell in my family, any demon, every demon that has been given the assignment to curse me, to curse my children, to curse my family with death, through car accidents, I refuse to die through car accidents. I shall not die. I refuse to die through terminal diseases, hereditary diseases. I shall not die because of any sickness, because of cancer, because of brain tumor, because of heart attack. I shall not die before my time because of sicknesses. I shall not die because of spells, because of charm, because of divination, because of witchcraft against my life. I shall not die. Every assignment of demons against my life to curse me with death. Today, I, re I break, I break, I break. I break the power of death over my life. I break the power of death over my children. I break the power of death over my family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any dream that I've seen myself dying, today I revoke, I reverse, I destroy every power of death and hell over my life. In Jesus' name. I destroy, say this, I destroy every oppression of death and hell completely from my life and from my family. Today I break and I destroy every curse from the family of death and hell in Jesus name. I command the demons that are operating this curse over me to catch fire and die, to catch fire and die, to catch fire and melt away. I bind them in Jesus' name and I cast them out. So right now, pray right now, sir, that every demon that has been given the assignment to plague the family with death and hell, you bind the demon and you are casting the demon out. You are commanding the Father God to consume that demon into ashes and to cast them out of your life. So right now, pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Father. God, we have taken authority right now to break the covenant, to break ourselves free from the power of death and hell. Every demon that has been given the assignment to curse our lives with untimely death, with premature death, dying before our time, today in the name of Jesus, we bind the demon, we bind the demon, we bind the demons, we bind the demons, we bind the principalities, we bind the powers, we bind the strong man, we bind the strong man, we bind the fierce, we bind the terrible, we cut that demon out, we overthrow them, we overthrow them from their seats. We overthrow them. We overpower them. We cut them out. We command them to catch fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Anything, any demon, any witch, any wizard that is casting a spell against your body, against your soul, against your spirit to kill you before your time to cause premature death in your life and family, concerning your children, concerning your family members. Today, by the reason of the blood, by the reason of the blood, we break the curse, we break the curse, we break the charm, we break the divination, we break the enchantment, we destroy the curse in Jesus' name. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall live. You shall not die. You shall not die. I free myself. Say, I free myself. I free myself from every curse of untimely death. I free my children from every curse of untimely death. I free my family from every curse of untimely death. I break the curse and I lose myself. I break the curse and I lose myself. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, anyone on this phone line, whom the devil has planned to terminate their life short by the end of this year, by the reason of the blood, by the reason of the blood, by the reason of the blood, I break the curse. I lose them from the hells of death and hell. I lose them from the hells of the death and hell. I bind the demon. I bind the principalities of death and hell. And I command them to take their hands off their lives. I lose them from any car accident that is going to claim their life. Any hereditary sickness. Any cancer. Any brain tumor. Any heart attack. Any sickness that has been designed. That has been orchestrated. That has been programmed to claim their life. I break them loose. I break them free. I break them loose. I break them free. In Jesus' name. And they shall not die. I break the curse of death and hell from your life. I cut them out of your life in Jesus' name. Every witchcraft, every divination, every enchantment against you to kill you uh, uh, with premature death. I break the charm. I break the spell. I break the divination. I break the witchcraft uh, activity. I destroy it. I render them useless and void. In Jesus' name, you are free. You are free. You shall not die. You shall live and declare the words of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Every, we meet on every Tuesdays and Fridays for prayers. On Tuesdays, we meet just for one hour. We meet at um, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Pacific Time. So 10 Eastern Time, 9 Central Time, 8 Mountain Standard Time and 7 p.m. Pacific Time just for one hour on Tuesdays and on Fridays we meet to fast and pray just like on Tuesday also but on Fridays it is three hours we meet on 11 p.m. on Fridays Eastern Time 11 p.m. Eastern Time 10 p.m. Central Time 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and 8 p.m. Pacific Time on Fridays. Remember, on both Tuesdays and Fridays, we do fast. Both Tuesdays and Fridays, we do fast. And we fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. That is water fasting. The Bible says that these things go not except through fasting and prayer. So depending on how serious you are with your what you want to receive from the Lord, join us on Tuesdays and Fridays for fasting and prayer. And God will definitely bring your breakthrough. On Tuesdays, remember it's just for one hour. And on Friday, it is for three hours. And for the fasting, if for any reasons you can't do from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., for medical reasons or any reason, you can always do it from 6 a.m. to 6 noon or 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. whatever time you can do God searches your heart and just fast and pray and believe the Lord and he will answer your prayers uh, with a prayer line to the whole of this year we have listed our five prayer requests five things you want the Lord to do for you before the end of the year list your five prayer requests when we meet we give opportunity for us to pray that the Lord will come through for us concerning our five prayer requests and have faith and pray believe in God and God will come through for you so I look forward to you joining us on Tuesdays and Fridays for the fasting and prayer God answers prayers
these things were not except through fasting and prayer. And also, if you are interested in knowing much about um, deliverance, um, I have a book called Spiritual Diagnosis. Um, this month, we are doing the theme is um, you know, dealing with deliverance. And if you want to know much about this, and you don't know much, you don't know about deliverance then i encourage you to order the book it is um, just ten dollars and free postage if you live in the united states and it will help you to really understand uh, what uh, spiritual warfare is all about it's called spiritual diagnosis it helps you to be able to diagnose for yourself your own spiritual problems and to be able to effectively use in the word of god to deal with a problem just as you go to the ho uh, hospital and the doctor has to first diagnose you in order to find out what problem is with you and be able to now treat you when you go you take your car to the mechanic you have to diagnose the car in order to find a fault and then fix it in the same way spiritually too you have to be able to spiritually diagnose your problem and be able to effectively use the word of god to fight against whatever you burden cares that there was placed upon you so spiritual diagnosis helps you to um, diagnose your spiritual problem and to effectively use the word of god to address that issue and to be able to overcome whatever challenge you are going through spiritual diagnosis i believe if you want to know about your spiritual state and how to do spiritual warfare uh, it's one book you want to order it and it will be of a great blessing to you. So I look forward for, uh, for you joining us on Tuesdays and Fridays for fasting and prayer. God richly bless you and don't stop praying. If you keep on praying, you will grow stronger and stronger as your enemies grow weaker and weaker and you will have dominion and power over your enemies and you will trample them over under your feet because Jesus Christ has given you and I the power to walk upon or trample over scorpions and serpent and over all the powers of the enemy and they shall by no means do us any harm. Uh, there's a saying that you know a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. A prayerless. If you don't pray, you are powerless. You don't have power and demons cannot overcome you. But if you are praying then you are a danger. To the forces of darkness because you carry power prayer gives you the avenue to connect with divinity god and god releases the power to you for you to overcome and subdue all the works of the enemy under your feet you are more than a conqueror through christ jesus don't be intimidated by the devil god bless you